The M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems, and named for General Creighton Abrams, conceived for modern armored ground warfare, and now one of the heaviest tanks in service at nearly 68 short tons, 62 metric tons. It introduced several modern technologies to U.S. armored forces, including a multifuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, a computer fire control system, separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment, and NBC protection for crew safety. Initial models of the M1 were armed with a 105mm M68 gun, while later variants feature a license-produced Rheinmetall 120mm L44 designated M256. The M1A2 Abrams main battle tank is a further development of the M1A1. Currently it is one of the best MBTs in the world. Development of improved M1A1 began in 1988. About 1200 to 1500 M1A2 main battle tanks were delivered to the US Army. Out of this number approximately 1000 outdated M1 main battle tanks were upgraded to the M1A2 standard. It is planned that this tank will remain in service beyond 2050. The M1A2 has been exported to Kuwait, 218, Saudi Arabia, 457, and Taiwan. The M1A2 was a further improvement of the M1A1, with a commander's independent thermal viewer, weapon station, position navigation equipment, and a full set of controls and displays linked by a digital data bus. These upgrades also provided the M1A2 with an improved fire control system. The M1A2 System Enhancement Package SEP, added digital maps, Force XXI Battle Command Brigade and below, FBCB2, Linux communication system capabilities for commanders, and an improved cooling system to compensate the heat generated by the additional computer systems. The M1A2 SEP also serves as the basis for the M104 Wolverine Heavy Assault Bridge. The M1A2 SEP V2, version 2, added common remotely operated weapon station, Crows or Crows 2 support, color displays, better interfaces, a new operating system, better front and side armor, and an upgraded transmission for better durability. Further upgrades included depleted uranium armor for all variants. The previous M1 and M1A1 Abrams tanks used composite armor similar to the British Chobham with multiple layers of steel and ceramics at the front of the hull and turret. However armor on the M1A2 featured added layers of depleted uranium mesh. This offered significant protection against all known anti-tank weapons. However overall weight of the tank increased. At the time of its introduction protection of the M1A2 Abrams tank was considered as one of the best in the world. All active service M1A1 tanks have been retrofitted with depleted uranium armor. M1A2 tanks supplied to Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Taiwan have downgraded armor without depleted uranium layers. Ammunition for the main gun is stored in the turret bustle. Fitted with blowout panels, interior is lined with Kevlar liner for protection against spalling. The M1A2 Abrams can be fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks. Some M1A2 tanks were equipped with missile countermeasure devices, intended to detect and jam guidance of the laser-guided missiles. The tank is armed with the M256 120mm smoothbore gun. Originally developed by Rheinmetall and manufactured under license in USA, this gun is loaded manually. Such gun loading system is more reliable than autoloaders used on some other tanks. The M1A2 has an improved fire control system and its components. Range of effective fire in excess of 4 km. The M1A2 has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer capability. 
Many tanks produced in the early 90s lacked this capability. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7, 62mm machine gun, another 7, 62mm machine gun mounted over the gunner's hatch and 12, 7mm machine gun mounted over commander's hatch. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The M1A2 Abrams is powered by Avco Lycoming, now Honeywell, AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, developing 1500 horsepower. Essentially it is a modified helicopter engine, adapted for use on tanks. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on any grade of petrol, diesel, aviation fuel or kerosene. This engine has impressive performance and is compact for its power output. So even though the Abrams tank is heavy and bulky, it is surprisingly agile. It is faster than many other tanks and has superior cross-country performance. Also the engine is remarkably quiet. Due to this feature the Abrams is even nicknamed the Whispering Death. Its gas turbine engine has servicing intervals significantly longer than those of diesel engines. However, is troublesome to maintain and has very high fuel consumption comparing with diesels. Engine can be replaced in field conditions within 30 minutes. This main battle tank can be airlifted by AC-5 Galaxy or C-17 Globemaster III military transport aircraft. On the 24th of January, 2023, U.S. President Joe Biden said that the United States would send 31 M1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. On the 25th of September, 2023, President Zelensky announced the arrival of the first batch out of 31 M1 Abrams tanks promised by the United States to Ukraine, stating that this was intended to enhance Ukraine's capacity to defend its territory and achieve its strategic objectives, and was not an offensive threat to Russia. We have talked about the strength of the tank. Let's also talk about the vulnerability of the Abrams tank. American M1 Abrams tanks that Washington has decided to hand over to Kiev as military aid have weaknesses that allowed wiping them out with Soviet weapons easy. Armor expert, candidate of military sciences, retired Colonel Sergei Savorov told TASS. M1 Abrams tanks can also be hardly repaired in field conditions and are weakly suited for operation on dusty terrain like in Ukraine. The expert also pointed to the instances when Abrams tanks were wiped out by RPG-7 anti-tank grenade launchers. The American tank almost has no chances if it engages in a duel with Russian tanks. The expert said, if an Abrams emerges at a long distance, AT-72 or AT-90 crew will fire an anti-tank missile, and we can say that the Abrams will even have no chance to fire a shot, as its range of fire won't allow it to do that," he explained. A Bram tank have tons of flaws which makes it a prey to some weapons. Despite its advanced armor protection the tank is still vulnerable to certain top attacks weapon, which makes it an easy target for the mighty Russian Lancet Kamikaze drone. In some stutters it was reported that the cornered anti-tank missile could also become a threat for the Abrams tanks. Another disadvantage is the turbine engine which generates a lot of heat, making it vulnerable to most infrared search and destroy missiles. However, the US tank's final efficiency depends on the commander's skills to operate it and trained crews. The expert said, 